Hello, it's uh, Dave Bergman here giving you a quick tip uh, for audio shoots about using rewire within main stage, um, Logic's main stage. So today uh, my aim is to create a track in main stage or a patch in main stage um, which will trigger an individual instrument within the Reason rack. Um, this, tu this tutorial is kind of made for people who have a fairly good understanding of Reason and main stage already. Uh, I'm just going to show you just kind of the, the, con the connection blocks but you know feel free to pick it up and hopefully um, get inspired to learn either of these programs. So with Rewire, um, basic explanation is it's kind of, it's a digital interface between the two applications, between two applications. Um, so with zero latency, um, it just links the audio real time, routes the audio real time into another application. So to make Rewire work, you need to have both applications open, obviously. Um, one will always be a master, which will be receiving the audio. One will be a slave, which is sending, an aud sending its audio to the master. Now, Rewire doesn't just send audio. It also sends MIDI as well, which we'll be exploring today. One of the most important things about Rewire is the order that you open the applications you're using. And this will determine whether it is a master or a slave um, for Rewire. So I've got two sample uh, files here. I'm just going to open main stage first. Uh, it's loading up on my other screen here. We have main stage here loaded up. Um, this is just some stuff I've been playing around with yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and delete these so we can start afresh uh, to give you guys a, um, a good idea of how to start. There's no, no cheats that I've done here. Alright, so now that your main stage is open. I'm going to go ahead and open my Reason song file. Uh, Reason's opening up on the other page. Uh, while this is happening, uh, I might just talk you through a basic, uh, basic over overlay of main stage. Um, this is just my my layout, my personal layout here. Um, and on the right here. Um, is where all the information is for your patch. So to add a new patch, which we will go ahead and do now, press that plus button. I'll just go ahead and type uh, rewire test. Cool. Great. Reasons opened. I'll drag it across. Uh, Reasons cool. Little cool application. This is just a, a test. Uh, layout that I've done. We just added a few synths on the page here. So we can go ahead and press the tab button which turns us over to the back of the rack. We can press it again you can see we go to the back uh, of these patches here. Um, and you can see that up the top here audio IO in out. So if you go if we flip over to the front side of that we can see that it's operating the audio driver operating is rewire and it's in slave mode. So when we uh, tab it back, these are the, the, the rewire patches uh, essentially. Now rewire is great, it actually has, uh, has 64, uh, 64 channels uh, of patching internally in your computer so I haven't never had to use that many but you never know. Um, I think your computer, well my computer definitely would be struggling uh, playing back that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and destroy these patches here so we can start afresh. So we've got our audio outputs here. So let's just start um, my synth here, Maelstrom, is main outs, left, right, going into a digital reverb, uh, which I've just patched in. So now on the, in the input of the digital reverb, and now let's let's go on the output of the digital reverb. Now we just click and drag up to we'll go three and four. And um, reason smart and will automatically follow. So subtractor, we've got the same thing, audio output main, input output output output. This is going 
it's getting a bit confusing now, but it's going into the digital reverb, into parametric EQ, and then into the ECF42 uh, envelope filter. It's kind of cool little uh, thing I've added on. But um, we won't talk about that now. This is not really the topic. So left out, we're going to drag this cable up into 5 and 6. So we'll just patch these two in for today just to keep it simple. So let's tab back. And that should be all you have to do in uh, Reason to patch it in. Um, oh, sorry, of course. One thing you do need to do is you'll need to disable your MIDI. So I'm just opening up Reason Preferences here. need to disable your MIDI keyboard um, so we can actually send MIDI via rewire instead of the program picking it up itself. So that's what we want. You can see how I'm not getting any, any MIDI signal in, but I am up here on main stage. I'm just pressing a few keys on the keyboard. All right, so let's just drag this out of view. Uh, it's not important for now. Here comes the fun parts. So, add a channel strip. So within a patch, within main stage, we have channel strips. Um, you see up here, that little concert signal uh, symbol. It's the same as this symbol here, so that means that these, these strips, you cannot change at a patch level. You can only change when you're at the concert level. But let's add a patch level strip. So, new channel strip. Uh, external instrument, very important. That's what we're doing today. So input, that's my keyboard, or any other MIDI input that you're going to use this with. Uh, so MIDI output, okay, this is where we start getting crazy. So I'm going to route my keyboard into Reason via Rewire, okay? <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful there. So here we go, MIDI output, it'll show up as Reason. Uh, rewire is clever and can rename everything. So MIDI channel, look at look, how that, look at that, there's my reason rack. So I'm going to go ahead and select Maelstrom 1. That, as you remember, that was the first channel strip, uh, not channel strip, the first synth I had uh, loaded in the, in the device rack in reason. So stereo, yep, input, reason, okay. This is, this is where your rewire channels will come up. See, so it says rewire, RW, reason. Now, uh, we put that into channel 3, 4. And you can see what I mean. It goes all the way down to 63, 64. These are all stereo pairs at the moment. So, there we go. That's it. Press create. Now, I'm going to type in here, Maelstrom. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. See if this actually works. Sure did. I'm just going to turn that down because it's quite loud. All right, let's open this. See what's happening here. So you see that I'm just going to put the volume down a bit more so we're not. It's quite a, it's not very useful noise for a tutorial, but that's what I've done. <laughs> so, Maelstrom is outputting signal, but you notice nothing else is. So I'm individually sending MIDI and I'm returning audio just from this one synth. Now that's that's game changing. That's crazy. Um, you know, when I first got Reason, I was like, oh, such a shame. I can't use it with, with main stage. And then, you know, I had a look in, inside of main stage and it's, it's got this set up for that. So let's just try... Just to prove this, that this actually works, I'm going to go set up Subtractive, which is my second synth in Reason. So, great. It's already remembered it from last time. So, CME, Reason, Subtractor, Input, re Reason. We, plug we put that into 5 and 6, if you remember back on the, the page here. 5 and 6 here was our Subtractor. 
five six got it output one and two create let's name of this subtractor so let's mute this oh yes great now as far as I'm concerned that's just awesome it just frees you so much and there are so many good sounds in in reason um, so that's just a quick quick tip today um, obviously you can go ahead and play around we can add another actually I'll just, I'll just show you quickly now we can add another patch here so if you want one one of your synths to be in one patch and the other synth to be in another patch uh, for a live situation between songs. I'm just going to cut that and paste that into there. Unmute that. Unmute that. I'll turn my master down because that's uh, getting loud. So I've got one here playing. Okay, that song's over. Next. and they've got the completely different sound in the next patch. Now obviously um, you can play around with main stage settings in terms of holding those sounds over between the patch because at the moment it's just cutting them out which is what I have it set to by default. But um, yeah, this is just a simple, simple thing that is that can just be extrapolated in it into something that can be very, very um, convenient and very, very advanced. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, great, thanks.